this week when anti-war protesters confronted her about America's proxy wars, Hillary responded smugly. Frank what, what do you have? To, can you Frank please? Can you, is can you please make a statement about President Joe Biden's speech? This is a clearly is warmongering speech. President Joe Biden is calling for $100 billion of funding for Israel, Taiwan, and Ukraine. And we're supposed to just bundle these together and pretend like we're going to rush to World War III and we're all just going to let Hillary Rodham Clinton sir, 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 sit here. And, here. Okay. So, so I'm yes. sorry. You know, yes. this is not, what, what, this is not no, the way no, to no, have that, a conversation. I'm sorry. If you want my, to have my a conversation, you're no, welcome to come you, talk to you me can, afterwards. You can sit here. Okay, you, right. You're yeah. gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna wait for me, right? I, please, I, I, I don't, I you, do not believe you. I will you. listen to you, and I, do, I will respond. I do to you, not believe you. Respectfully, right. I do not believe you. In 50 years, Hillary went from a college protester to cutting college protesters off, and it went on. The fact of the matter is that the American people's voice are what need to be heard. Yeah, because, they are being because heard. our president is not speaking for the American people, and well, neither are you. That's your opinion. That's your opinion. Yes, that's my but, opinion. But, sure. well, then sit down. We've heard your opinion. Thank you very sure. much. What I have done is I have asked Hillary Rodham Clinton right. to denounce the president's openly warmongering, suicidal, idiotic huh? speech. And I'll that's give what you I've asked. Answer. I will that's not what do I've that. done. So that's the end of I, our conversation. Me, but sure. I'll still meet you I outside. Need your but you're done. Right